Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Chef Tim, coming to you live from uh, Tony Shawa Life Center. And by live, I mean I'm live here right now, not necessarily when you're watching this. Um, I host a class here uh, called Shotwell Chefs. It's uh, every first Wednesday of the month. And uh, since you guys can't come to class here, we're gonna bring class to you. Um, so today, we're going to make a favorite dish of mine. Uh, anybody that knows me, uh, I love sweets, so anything that's a dessert type item is a favorite dish of mine. And today, we're gonna make um, donut holes. Uh, so, what you'll need, uh, you'll need two cups of flour, which I already have poured out here, a um, quarter cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoon, um, tablespoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter cup of melted butter, my favorite part, um, one cup of milk. Now, whenever I do uh, baking, Cooking, I like to use whole milk. I feel like it gives you a little bit better um, product when it's over and done with. When I eat my cereal, 2%. I don't know. You can put whichever one you like. Um, one egg, and the recipe calls for a teaspoon of vanilla, but you know, the more the merrier. Uh, so, before you get started with everything, you're gonna want to have the fryer going. Um, Follow the directions, whatever it tells you. You want to have your, your grease um, heating up. And if you can set a temperature to it, you want to put it at um, 350 degrees. Um, and while that's heating up, you want to mix all of your ingredients. So I have a bowl here for my dry ingredients. I have a bowl here for my wet ingredients. And then you bring it all together, make a nice batter. So like I said before, we have two cups of flour already in here. And then we'll add our quarter cup of sugar, our uh, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, and then you just want to give that a little mix, get all of that together where it looks like one nice mix. So that's looking good. Now on your wet ingredients, you want to add your milk. Like I said, teaspoon, teaspoon of vanilla or so. Uh, now the part I get a little nervous here, cracking the egg in front of you all. So, you want to take your whisk again and mix all of your wet ingredients together. Now you're probably wondering, hey, what about that butter? What are we doing with the butter? That comes later. So once you have your wet ingredients mixed together, are going to take your wet ingredients, put them to the dry ingredients, give that a nice little stir. Now once those are kind of combined really nice, that's when you add in your butter. That's a quarter cup melted butter. Give this a nice little mix here. It's looking good, smelling good. Hey, I know you're probably uh, thinking to yourself, well, how how much do I mix it? Um, you don't want any lumps in there, anything like that. Um, the batter I have is looking pretty smooth. Um, you just want to make sure all that, all that flour and your dry ingredients. 
is your nice incorporated in it. So see, that's about how that's about how thick the batter is for for me. Now, since I had my my oil heating up over here, it's already good to go. Now, what you want to take? You can use a spoon, um, but I like the, uh, the the cookie dough cookie spoon where I can kind of control it a little bit better than a regular spoon. So you take a scoop of it, you're gonna drop it in the grease. Now remember it's hot, so you wanna be careful. Hopefully I don't show you guys what not to do here and splash this all over myself. So these are fried up real nice right now and you wanna do about two minutes on each side. Uh, but it's kind of cool because once once one side is, is cooked um, pretty good, it'll just flip over automatically so you don't really have to, have to do it yourself. If you want to come in here and get a shot, let the people see what it looks like while they're cooking. And you want to you want to let them cook till they're nice golden brown, just you can kind of play it by ear uh, when it looks like it's something that you want to eat then it must be ready so we're gonna let those cook a little bit longer and then we'll show you what the next part is here in just a minute okay so I think these are about ready let's take a look yeah so you want to have that nice golden brown look to them like that now to finish these babies off, you take them out of the oil. I like to put mine a little sugar coated. So you drop them in the sugar like that. Turn it around, give it a nice little, little coating of sugar. And you put them on here to your cooling rack. Let that cool down for a couple minutes. You'll be ready to go. That's how you make your own donut holes, homemade from home. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you give it a try, uh, comment below, let us know how it, how it turned out for you. Um, and stay tuned for more virtual programming from City Grand Prairie Parks, Arts, and Recreation. We'll see you next time.